Milk. Crate. Marauder. Hey, oh, yeah. Good morning, everybody. Hey, I understand today's show is a big show. We have Bigfoot stopping by live in studio. I'm very excited to talk to Bigfoot. He's out promoting his new film. He has a film? Yeah. <laughs> He's in that uh, Jersey Shore movie um, produced by one of the girls from Jersey Shore. Really? Yeah. I forget what the name of the movie is. Gary, what's the name of um, the movie? It's going to be a big hit. Anything? You you predict that it's oh going to be a big hit? Oh, my or God. Or the Rob. testing has Jersey shown. Shore Massacre. Jersey Shore Massacre. Well, that sounds like uh, <laughs> something Bigfoot should be in. Right. And, of course, George uh, Takei is here, one of the greats, and uh, he is our announcer this week, and he's going to announce for us right now. Here is George. I'm turning the microphone over to him. Good morning, Howard. Good morning. Uh, on a Tuesday morning, this is George Takei. Take it from me. Never, ever have sexual intercourse with a triple. Those little bastards may look soft and furry on the outside, but inside is like sticking your dick into a bucket of rusty nails. <laughs> this is the Howard Stern Show. <laughs> yeah, those triple. Is. I had no idea they were that. I, they look fuzzy and soft. I don't know. They you do were look that. Thinking of having yeah. sex with them, and they proliferate. They reproduce. They, they propagate like mad. They sure do, like rabbits. <laughs> said uh, Bigfoot will be here. Bigfoot was actually uh, in town promoting the new film he is in. He was on with Lieberman Live last night. In case you missed it, here's the highlights okay. of Lieberman Live. The president says he's building an international coalition, including the U.K., France, and Canada, to address the humanitarian crisis in northern Iraq. Mark Shaw Jr., Bigfoot, do you fear we are getting too involved in Iraq again? Yes, we are. You need to speak on the mic, sir. Oh, yes. Pull the mic close yes, to you. Yes, yes we are is getting dangerously close to is by having a civil war is in uh in crane and iraq in crane mm -hmm. there were a lot of highlights by in the way crane. another highlight today uh mr george takei will be hypnotized on air i can't uh, wait for that. <laughs> it's uh it's exciting it's exciting it is interesting because i've never been hypnotized before All well right, see well. now in 77 years Getting, you should be hypnotized yeah you should try everything once um uh, Ronnie did it uh, a few weeks ago, and he said it was like taking a beautiful nap. A beautiful uh, with nap. dreams and everything. Well, I do that every day, so uh, uh, this what's will be the nice. big difference? You'll be, you'll we'll be, see. <laughs> we'll see. Here you are at your job, but you will get it to nap during your job, which is a rare... Uh, what a thought. Right. Maybe I should do, uh, come here every morning then. <laughs> uh, yes, so getting back to Libra and Live, yes, Bigfoot was a guest. It seems like a no-brainer that we should be looking for these foreign Internet provider addresses, somebody trying to collect your taxpayer dollars. Yeah, I know. Have you ever collected unemployment? <laughs> yes, I did it is at one point at... Pre you know, Walker's Free Farm is where I was abused on the job site is when people are talking about brewing people in the head and suck, sucking the blood out of their head is. And what? Well, during, during lunchtime it is, and I expect the eat is, meet people talking that way in that kind of dirty language. And are you saying you lost your job there? I quit my job it is because of the, all the talk it is on the work detail it is at the free farm it is i quit it is and i got unemployment because of what people did to me on the job site right so mm -hmm. he'll be here and you know there's always a problem on the job always even during the filming of this movie that he did he involved. have a problem with this movie was he oh. abused on this set uh, yeah, something happened because uh i have all the voicemails he left for the producer after the filming oh it was uh, after not during uh, he, the voicemails were after yeah <laughs> so something went down and uh, oh, we'll boy. be we'll be looking into that uh, if only Bigfoot could replace Don Pardo on Saturday Night Live. What a show. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, Bigfoot was all over Lieberman Live. He was quite a sensation last night. Bigfoot, I want to switch gears now to Ferguson, Missouri, the ongoing unrest there. I know you've been following this on the yeah, television news. Yeah, I've been watching news. the news a real lot. The sense of riots broke out down in, uh, where is that state it is? Ferguson, Missouri. Is Fer Ferguson, Missouri. A preliminary. And I even heard about the train wreck they had it is with two <laughs> trains crashed together it is too. Let's they stick had... let's stick to the shooting of Michael Brown for <laughs> no. right now. A preliminary private autopsy found that one of the bullets entered the top of Michael Brown's skull, right. suggesting that his head was bent forward when it struck him and caused the fatal injury. What do you make of that? In my mind he was either charging police or surrendering. What do you make of it? 
where I make out, it looks like he was trying to surrender. He looks like he wanted to fight at the same time he didn't try to take out some officers while he was fighting with them. Oh, my them. God. How do we bring about calm in Ferguson, Missouri? I think they need a mediator to talk with the people. There's a riot in it is, and the people are uh, on on the cop side is and get a mediator like that, that has mediator. it out You're, both sides. See, if you could sit down with members of that community, Bigfoot, in one room, many of them, what would you say to them? I would say it's, it's their community it is, and they all got to get along like one big happy neighborhood it is and stop fighting with the cops. Boy, Bigfoot's like a slow Anderson Cooper. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I think it's awesome. Uh, yeah, so Bigfoot was on fire. I hope he comes in here with some energy because he really left it all out there on the Lieberman show. It sounds like he had a big media day yesterday. Yeah, uh, kind of. You all here though. <laughs> and Bigfoot, the world premiere of Jersey Shore Massacre, is on Tuesday. That's tomorrow at the AMC Theater at Lincoln Square here in New York City, and exclusively on Directv. Quickly, Bigfoot, why should people go see the film? Because it's a real good film, it is, and I can't say too much about it. If I say too much about it, it is I, I can be fined or something. <laughs> and stuff on the movie it is what I'm not supposed to release. And Wow. Thanks to Fred the Elephant Boy as well, and as always. Lieberman's Last Word. Yes, Mark, go ahead. Who that movie it is. You're going to go see it. Yes, I'm going to see it. That's why I'm down here. Excellent. I'm going to give my last word now. Does that work for you? It works for me. There it is. So a little taste of what went on last night and uh, on the mad tour of that, that Bigfoot is involved in with his uh, film. It's very exciting. Uh, George, I didn't even know he was working on a movie. George has a film out and so does Bigfoot. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you put it in that same context. Absolutely. <laughs> Why not? What, 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 what do you want hey, to say? Hey, it's all the movie business. It's, it's hardly uh, the Jersey Shore Massacre. <laughs> hey, you can make fun all you want, but listen to it. I'm not making fun. Made money. George, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play the, the... Listen to Bigfoot acting. Listen to this. Camera speed. Right. 18 Echo, take one, Marker. How would you like to pry my sausage? A little louder. How would you like to pry my sausage? <laughs> I live over there by the river. I live over there up the river. Up the river. Oh, God. I live over there up the river. I live up the river there. I do. <laughs> I live right up the river. How does that go again? <laughs> Well, that's Mine, un- please. That's really unfair to the poor guy. Right, absolutely. They shouldn't show those uh, outtakes. <laughs> outtakes. So, so that's in the movie. That's in the movie. Yes. Oh. There are no outtakes. <laughs> outtakes. Big foot. The movie, yeah. the outtakes uh, is the movie. That's the best part of the movie. <laughs> uh, well, anyway, he'll be in promoting uh, this new uh, movie, uh, and we'll be back right after these words. Highway. With big foot. in my hair. What is this? No, man, broken hearted. Yeah. Talk to you a big foot in a minute. Just reading this report. Stanford man fakes death to avoid wedding. I, I like was reading that. Yeah, I love that stuff. I was going to talk to you about that. I was like, this is going a little bit far, isn't it? A Stanford man faked his own death to avoid marrying an English woman he met at Yukon, according to a report in the British tabloid, the Daily Mail. Tucker Blanford, 23, of Stanford, admitted in the newspaper article that he impersonated his parents and called his bride-to-be, Alex Lanchester, 23, of West Midlands in the U.K., to tell her that her fiancé had committed suicide. So the caller goes, Hello, this is the parents of your fiancé. He, he called us his dad. Yeah. Hello, this is your this is your father-in-law, your future <laughs> father-in-law. Uh, my son just committed suicide, so there'll be no wedding. <laughs> I say that with peace and love. Get back your deposits. <laughs> it's always amazing to me, and and, 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 and really remarkable. Like I, I always read about these women who run away from their weddings, and they can't find them for weeks. And then they find out that they're like living, you know, they're, they're just afraid to tell the guy, no, I'm not, I'm not going to marry you. Right. It's a weird thing, right? Well, I guess if you've got somebody so completely fooled, it's hard to say, I was just kidding. No. Yeah. Well, you're not <laughs> kidding. Maybe you just have doubts. But you've been having those doubts 
while you get, you know, because he describes how they fell in love very quickly and it was deeply, you know. Yeah. She describes that he was very into this relationship. The two met Showering while her with gifts and, and jewelry. Huh. Call, you know, the, every tenth of the month they would have dinner to celebrate the day they, they first met. Yeah. All that kind of stuff. Yeah. You know, you could, it's not like he wasn't into, you know, uh, this deep relationship. And so then he popped the question. It's probably a good idea to say you killed yourself. Yeah. yeah. All yeah. right. <laughs> you buy this. You, you'd rather have, be, have that broken to you. Though. I get it. The trouble is, they may by chance meet each other again. There. And how's he going to explain that? I'm his twin brother. <laughs> <laughs> he was figuring that since they were from different countries, it might work. Believe it or not, Bigfoot is in a new movie. I think everyone from our show is in this movie, like Richard and Sal and Beetlejuice. You know, they grabbed whoever they could. It's a great cast. It's a great cast. <laughs> it's called Jersey Shore Massacre. Uh, Bigfoot was paid $200 a day to be in this movie. He worked for five days. He had $1,000. That's beautiful. He does describe that uh, he spent most of his money already on weed. Oh. So, <laughs> It's been a, a losing battle ever I since. I thought this was going to be the start of something new for him. We haven't seen Bigfoot in a while. Here he is. He's noticeably thinner. And uh, a bearded. And We're much very longer long hair. Beard, long hair. Planet X. Yeah. Yeah. Was this for the role? Devil Bay. Hey, Bigfoot. Hey. You know, this is kind of a good look for you. Yeah. The long hair, the beard. You look like the cover of the Jethro Tull album, Aqualung. Has anyone ever told you that? No, nobody told me that. Yeah. I thought he looked like Jesus Christ. What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, that's a good idea. I told you I, 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 I pointed up in the sky and told the wind to stop blowing, and five minutes later, it stopped. Really? Yeah. Wow. Hey, well, it looks like you got a different look to it. I did. I, I'm inspired by you. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> well, uh, do me a favor and adjust Bigfoot's microphone. So that it's a little closer to his mouth, if you don't mind. He's so big, it's hard to. Yeah. yeah. Is that good? Bigger right, yeah, that's good. Head. Is that better? Yeah, yeah that's better. I, that's better. Okay. Right. Uh, thank you, Will. Yeah, get up right in. There you go. There you go, pal. Thank you, Will. Uh, that's why you're a producer. Yeah. Yeah. See? Make sure I get things right. How you been, Bigfoot? I've been all right. Yeah, you yeah. I lost a lot of weight, it is. Now, I was told you lost a lot of weight. Yeah. Because your car no longer works and you have to walk everywhere yeah i have to walk everywhere and bury it if i want anything so are you saying that walking is excellent exercise you don't need to run and be rough on the no you yeah. don't need to run it just take a, 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 a natural walk it is how many miles a day would you say you walk i walk 10 or 15 miles a day right Whoa. right because you're constantly where having to get places going? yeah yeah where do you go when you walk i walk to the store and get cigarettes to eat or i walk it is and get um uh, soda or chips or whatever it is I decide to snack on. Let me talk to you about your movie career, and so because that's why you're here. You're here to promote a film. Yeah, I mean, here is the movie. It is going to be on Rec TV, it is. Right, Rec it's TV. Going, it's going to yeah. be on Rec TV. That's yeah. <laughs> uh, Jersey Shore Massacre. Give us the outline. What is the plot of the movie? I can't really say too much about it, it is, because uh, I signed a contract, it is, saying I can't say too much about it. it is. But give it's, me a brief uh, uh, outline of what the movie is. It is. It's, it's about a devil, it is. The devil. You play the devil. Yeah, I play the devil, yes. I could see that with the beard and the long yeah, hair. Yeah, I could with see long that. hair and the beard. How did you Do get they... this job? Did you have to audition? Uh, not really. I just, uh, Paul decided he needed somebody for a movie, and he decided to pick me. Wonderful. Did you uh, have to wear special makeup as the devil? Or yeah, I did. did. Yeah. yeah, Red with the horns and all yeah, that. Yeah, the horns yeah. and the red, red in the hair and stuff like that. In the film, do you actually kill anyone? I mean, do you have any... Like, the devil is a mean son of a bitch. Uh, do, you, do you murder someone? Or? Supposedly, I murder somebody, yeah. I see, yeah. You can't I can't too say much. too much about it. It'll ruin the movie. Nobody will want to go see the movie no, if I think too much about it. But you understand when you promote a film, you must give people something to tickle their ass with a feather a little bit. Yeah, right. You know what I mean? You can't just say, go see the movie. You have to give them a little bit of an outline. Of what yeah, I've tried to give a little outline. Right, I've tried to be very careful what I do say. Absolutely. So you play the devil. Right. And you realize you have no money anyway. So if they sue you, who cares? You yeah, right. Yeah. So you oh, play the God. devil. You know what I mean? Well, what about the sequel, Howard. Uh, that's true. Yeah. Um, do you, in the movie, though, you 
play the devil, and what happens? You you are uh, in turmoil. Are you looking for souls? What are you doing? In I'm there? looking for souls. It is uh, yeah, okay. That's yeah. what I thought. That's what I thought. Well, so, yeah, that's usually what the devil's up to. Yeah. I, now I watched the trailer for the movie, and you are not in one scene in the trailer, which was weird to me. Well, why is that? Show I don't know why is that. It is. Yeah. Did you ever ask the producers that? No, I never did. Is this a big part that you have? It's fairly good, good sized part as yeah. I had. You filmed for five days. You made two hundred dollars a day. You made a total of one thousand dollars, and you spent it all on weed. Yeah. What happened there? Why not save something? Why not? I, I never can save anything because uh, I got a marijuana uh, addiction. Uh, addiction. How much do you smoke a day? Well, probably about a uh, um, um, eighth is a day. It is right. An eighth. Yeah. And you smoke, and you smoke cigarettes. Yeah. And you're healthy and cancer-free, huh? I yeah. Mean, you're, you're Thanks to black coffee, it is. Black yeah. coffee supposedly cures cancer, you know. So how many cups of coffee do you drink a day? I drink it all day long. Right, and that's what keeps the cancer away? Yeah, that's what keeps the cancer away, drinking black coffee. Did you recently have a um, a growth on your back? Yeah, I had a growth on my back. I wanted to show you that. that no, that's cookie. okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It just <laughs> says what it was. It was like a cyst on my back, it was. Did they check it for cancer? Did they, they are checking it for cancer, see? I see. Yeah. Oh, there it is. Yes, there's an official document uh, stating that uh, I, I, I don't know what that states. All right. So um, uh, about uh, about an eighth of, of weed a day costs about fifty bucks a day if you're going to smoke an eighth, right? No, not up there in uh, Barry. It costs like forty a, a, uh, right. for an a lid. Forty. They call it a lid. They do a lid. Yeah. Yeah. So it's forty bucks for a lid. That's a lot of money for someone like yourself who lives on a limited income. Yeah, I know. get like seventy dollars every every week. I do. Yeah, and the 70 goes mostly to weed. Yeah. Wow. And food uh, is through food stamps, too? Yeah, I get food stamps, uh, yeah. Now, describe to me, I want to get back to the movie, because there was a big controversy on the movie. After you finished filming, you left several voicemails for the producer. Do you remember doing this? No, I don't remember doing that. I'm going to play them for you. Tell me what you were talking about here. You don't even remember. The producer said you were pretty easy to work with on set. But yeah. after the movie, you called him constantly with some sort of emergency. And oh, I had problems them. up in Newport, I did. Yeah, the whole neighborhood was a wrath to me. He, here's the voicemail you left, okay? Yeah. I'll play it to refresh your memory. Yeah. Oh, you need to give Mark D. Shaw Jr. a call. I've had the ambulance here where my blood pressure was elevated because the neighbors are harassing me even inside my house, freezing up my DVD player one minute, and the next minute it's unfrozen it is and stuff like that it is, and I'm not sure how they are doing it is, and Randy is done for it is, and they got a marathon they running up, up here against me, against the women, against the guys. You need to get a hold of me as soon as possible. My life has gone into a question. Thanks for that, all this mess. All right? Please get a hold of me. It's urgent. You know what urgent means? <laughs> now, Bigfoot, why would you call the producer of the movie with that? He said that it was... Because he was concerned about me. He was. So he, he can't become up, because the whole neighborhood was harassing me because of the movie and everything. Well, why were they harassing you because of the movie? Because I was making a little money in this. And and so what is that his problem? I mean, he paid... I you. don't know. I didn't <laughs> need somebody to talk to. I did. Because like, you even threatened the lawsuit in there because you were having trouble with this. Yeah, with the landlord up in Newport, it is. All right, hey, Doug hey, Spates. Let's, let's continue on with these voicemails because they didn't There's stop. Yeah. yeah. Oh, 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 broken loose here because of that movie we made it is. And I need you to call me. It's turned into a national emergency up here. If you know what a, a national emergency is, I need to talk to you about what's happened up here. I need your help. And I need everybody I can That's talk where to I barricaded me. myself in my apartment. Please help me. Please help me. Why did you barricade yourself in the apartment? Because of that. But he was harassing me. Every time I went outside, they would throw things at me or make dirty comments. But you understand, if you're going to be in film work, and I know you want to get more film work. Yeah, I do. Uh, you can't call the producer of the movie with these kinds of things. What can he do about it? I mean, it's I don't know. Yeah. I figured he had connections. Yeah, but, but I mean, he said they, they were nonstop. He, he, he was going crazy from My all your phone question, calls. My question, Howard, yeah. is how does everybody in the community know what he's up to? It was a national emergency. It's but easy. he told everybody this stuff. Yeah. Well, if you didn't tell everyone you made some money, then why, then they wouldn't know and then they wouldn't harass you. 
Well, they find out somehow. No, I don't know how no. they, they find they out. They find out from you. They find out from you, Bigfoot. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's Whatever. The That's the leak. Well, as an actor, George, you know the same thing. When you get a role, you're so excited, you're so happy, you start telling everyone, and that's where I think Bigfoot's going wrong, right? Well, that's why the producer makes the movie, you know, to make money and let, to let people know that you made the movie. So, you, yeah, you you were promoting the film. Yeah, I was from Brighton to promote the film, yeah. Yeah, and then your well, neighbors hear you're in a film and they get jealous. Yeah, and they get jealous and they want to attack me. And they throw things at you? You throw things at me, like pennies or rocks With the or idea of getting... pull their pants down and stuff it is with the idea of getting your money yeah oh wow well, well why do you call the producer about that why don't you call the police the police wouldn't do anything to help me the police would write in on it too what, what could the well, producer do i don't know <laughs> but you know the thing is if you don't call you'll never find out yeah. um, but you, you know with you and the police there is a constant battle i'm going to talk about something you haven't seen you in a while yeah in january of 2013 bigfoot you appeared in court uh, they had to give you a competency hearing. I can imagine how that went. Yeah. Uh, but um, I'm you, uncompetent three years in a row. Right. Right. And, uh, <laughs> after uncompetent. Yeah, uncompetent. Yeah, uncompetent. Yeah, well, Something you say, like that. You know what I mean. If you say uncompetent, you're probably incompetent. <laughs> <laughs> All right. um, so you were charged with aggravated assault against a police officer. Yeah. What? Uh, you had attempted first-degree arson, which means you um, you were... Trying to burn down your own building, am I correct? Yeah, you I did. In. Yes. Yeah, you tried to build, burn it down because police... I was being attacked by liquid insulation. What? Okay, hold on a second. You, they charged you with disorderly conduct and, and resisting arrest. When the cops came, you took a, a giant samurai sword and shoved it through the door at the officer. Yeah, I know. Yeah, you're lucky you were in shot. Uh, I know. Yeah. What were you thinking when an officer comes to the door? What were you thinking to shove a samurai sword through the door? <laughs> I don't know. The cops were all against me doing it. I figured, what the heck? I mean, I'm going to go the right of free or some jail for a little while, and then they let me back out. They will. The cops were banging on your door. Am I correct? Right. Okay. And and uh, I had it, myself barricaded in the apartment where I had myself locked in the apartment from the inside out. And they should call the police. I didn't call the police. They just came down and just come down there and harassed me. Do you think your neighbors called the police? Probably. Yeah, because you must have been making noise or something or threatening to burn the building down. Yeah. All right. Now, why would you burn your own building down? Because I was being attacked by liquid insulation. All right. Now, what does that mean, liquid insulation? It's that stuff it is you see in the they put on these trucks. It is that foam insulation. Yes. Who was attacking you with that? The landlord uh, sprayed it on this floor, and it was coming up through the floor. It oh. Was. I see. Yeah, the landlord. Uh, yeah, the landlord him, did that Did you to say, me. hey, please stop? Yeah. And he would not? No, he wouldn't stop. Okay. So the, even landlord, the landlord was even against me. And so the landlord probably called the police because you were not complying with what he wanted to do. Yeah. Right. So when the police show up, you, where did you get this sword that you used? I had it on the wall, I did. Yeah. Where did you get that? That was the I, I got it. I remember I was running a pawn shop up there, remember? Uh-huh. And you had and that I sword. got that from some of the things that I collected. So when the police come to the door, you take the sword and you jam it through the actual door. Right. And you almost hit a police officer. Yeah. Really. Yeah. If you had killed a police officer, you would have been in deep shit. I know. Yeah. I wasn't trying to kill anybody. I was just trying to scare them. You were trying to scare them away. Yeah. Right, yes, right, but right. it's not a good idea to try to scare the police. Well, it works with me, it does. It <laughs> <laughs> came down yeah. with a dozen down there, they did. Are you uh, an actor like, are you a Hollywood bad boy like Sean Penn, in a sense? Something like that, Is that yeah. one of the guys I'm you uh... thinking more like Car Gary Busey. Right. Yeah. <laughs> are you one of those bad boys? Yeah, I'm one of those bad boys. I do things wrong occasionally. I knocked all the parking meters out of Newport where they couldn't keep him fixed fast enough it is because they want to leave my girlfriend alone. They now, wanted. By the way, you beat the rap. Uh, you, you, your, your disability paid for a lawyer. This lawyer must have been very good. Yeah. She was. Yeah, and she Genius. Got, and she got you <laughs> off. Yeah. Uh, all well, charges. I only did two months in the Broderbourg Free, and then they let me back out. In two months where? In the Broderbourg Free. I see. Uh, yeah. I mean, I don't see, but yes. <laughs> and, and you did two months, and that's a psychiatric facility? Yeah. They sentenced you because you were un competent as you say right and and how did they fix you for two two months to get they you fix him they did right they, they they fixed you you had anger issues yeah i had yeah. anger issues because of the whole town of newport harassing me and, and and in two months they cured you huh yeah what how did they do it what kind of treatment, Shock uh, they, treatment? they just kept feeding me pills i say are you now competent 
No, I don't believe so. I I'm always on un, un, un company. <laughs> and the, and I mean, even talking to you, I'm on company. <laughs> you sound pretty confident around here compared to the rest of the guys working here. Yeah. Well, maybe uh, you should hire me. Maybe that way some of the uncompetent would rub off. Hey, can, correct me if I'm wrong. Is this your first film that you've ever done? Or, yeah, it uh, is. You've never done another film? No, I've never done another film. No other acting? Well, when they contacted you, did you think it was a joke at first? When they, when I they, thought so at first. How did they even contact him? Yeah, how do they contact you? By like, telephone. You have a cell? No, not anymore. I don't. I have a home phone. It is. I see. With the wire and the whole thing. Yeah, with okay. the wire. Yeah. Yeah. They, uh, you, your studio calls me quite frequently, checking up on me. Oh, good. Okay. Yeah. And, and so, t t tell me this other thing that was uh, going on with you, because there's a lot going on with you. That I, 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 for a while, you were making some money through your mailman. You claim. Yeah. You, he How would does that work? He would pay you to finger his asshole. Yeah. Now, what? Now, yeah. Now tell yeah. me about and this. And he was a mailman. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess he had special deliveries to get me that So so he, he he was delivering your mail and how does he come to ask you to finger his asshole? Would you ask me what the <laughs> <laughs> yes. George this is incredibly gay, isn't it? All right, go ahead. I don't know, just are it's you, just incredible. Are you gay? No, I no. wouldn't consider myself gay. Yet least. you've blown guys and stuff. Uh yeah. Yeah. What's in prison. that all about? Oh, in prison. Yeah. 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 We all understand. So, yeah. <laughs> Were you I gotta do what again to get the happy smoke it is. Ah. Uh, are you saying you blew a guy for for marijuana? Yeah. You're no kidding. Yeah. Gee whiz, you must really love marijuana. No, I do. Is it horrible blowing a guy or do you you kind of enjoy it? I don't kind of enjoy it. I just put up with it. I do. Yeah. Do you swallow? What do you do? Do you swallow his load? No. No, of course not. I spit it back out. Good okay. for you. Good for you. <laughs> <laughs> Does anybody ever blow you in prison? Yeah, they have. Yeah. They have, yeah? Yeah. Did you George. like it? I liked it, yeah. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> George, would that make him sort of gay or no? Is he bi? I bi? He's sexual. He's very sexual. Yes. yes. Yeah, you're sexual. Yeah, I like sex. You like women and men? Yeah, I like men and, and women. Wow. Oh, you're admitting I, uh, that. I, I, go, I go both ways. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, why not? Like, you like a swing set. It right. goes both ways. <laughs> and you can get turned on by both uh, sexes. Yeah. Yeah. So, so when the mailman, was the mailman attractive? Not really. No. And he said to you, look, uh, Bigfoot, um, a horny gay man. He would even bring his own dildos, too, he would. He wow. Would. And, and so when he saw that he was delivering mail to you, Bigfoot, right. he said to himself, hey, maybe this guy's... I mean, how does that conversation, you with Yeah, how does the conversation occur that he would even feel comfortable asking you? I don't know. This. I get some weird cases is up there in Newport. <laughs> some really weird cases. Uh, and Look who is, I put up with Lori Greenwood. Uh, oh, he burped in my face at this. All right. So, so, so let, let me understand something. Because you have big, thick, manly hands. You're very... Big guy, how tall are you? I'm six four. Yeah, I mean, and you're and you're a big guy. I mean, you're not a uh, wimpy. You're a big man. Yes, I am. Yeah. I used to be a logger. Right, and your hands are big and masculine. Yeah, see how right? big they are. Look at that, George. You couldn't even handle a finger mm -hmm. like that. Could yeah. You? <laughs> Imagine two fingers at the same looking. time there. Yeah. What did you say, George? They look graceful. Yeah. Well, he, he is graceful. Yes, I am. So, so when the guy says to you, um, "I want you to finger my asshole." Yeah. You must have been shocked at first because, you know. Yeah, I was that person. I was like, man, what kind of mailman is this? <laughs> <laughs> you sure uh, you need all kinds of a Newport, you do. All right. So, so, and he said, listen, I'll even pay you to do this. How yeah. much did he pay? <laughs> No, he pays whatever ever he can afford. Is that right? Yeah. yeah it's it's a here, sliding scale. It's said here, yeah. Robin, about $50 he'd give you to finger his asshole? Yeah. All right, now, so, so what happens? The mailman comes in, he's wearing his mail uh, uniform, right? His mailman uniform. No, he was a regular mailman, and he didn't have to wear a uniform. I see. Whoa, he's I the one that had to deliver from town to town. Okay, so who knows what this was? Who knows if this is real? But, all right, I'll go with it. So do you have a lube that you use or, or anything yeah, like that? There's a little go. spit. A little spit, okay. So the guy comes in. In. And then uh, he he asks you to perform this, and you say, "Sure, I'll, I'll do it if you give me a couple of bucks." Is this yeah. daytime or right. nighttime? Daytime. Uh, daytime. Yeah. Oh boy. And Bigfoot. So so then you say to the guy, "Look, okay, I'm up for this. 
Does he remove his pants at that point? Yeah, he, he did. does. He and pulls he's his a, pants right down. Yeah, did you I get remember Nick? I used to have those videotapes? He uh, used to watch pornos at the same time while I'm running the videotape. Ah. So you put some porno on. Yeah, put some porno on. Male on male porno or yeah. male on female? Male, Ma on, male on female or uh, the two men going at it or whatever. All right, so he yeah. says, finger my asshole. He starts to pull his pants off, and you go over to the VCR, and you put in videotape of uh, people having sex. Right. Thinking what? I'll create a mood. I might, well, I might as well go with it. Yeah, exactly. Right, right. Make it a party. Yeah, exactly. That's what I did. Did you smoke weed? I made weed? it a party every day I was there. Yeah, did you smoke weed? Did you yeah, drink? Yeah, I smoked weed. Yeah, right, he yeah. smoked weed. Right. So then he pulls his pants off. Do you get nude? Uh, sometimes I would, yeah. Right, so you get nude. He would give me head at times. Oh. At times he would give you head. Yeah. Okay, that was nice of him to do that. <laughs> uh, I mean, you're getting paid and you're getting head at the same time. Yeah, right? exactly. You're like a prostitute. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. 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 You're not getting the idea. You're like a, maybe you can even woman. pull that roll off. You're like pretty woman with Julia Roberts. <laughs> right. Now, this exactly. is the movie. There you go. <laughs> this is now the movie. starting to catch oh, on, I Howard. I can't wait for this sequel. You just go with the flow of this. And in a sense, you're Julia Roberts and he's Richard Gere, this guy. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Okay, good. Uh, so, uh, did it make you feel sexy that you were so desired by this guy? I mean, well, it made me feel kind of odd. You know, then, wow, what kind of mailman is this? I mean, he comes down here with girls panties on, girls pantyhose. Oh. <laughs> I mean, probably he's gonna wear a dress while he's coming out my door. So when he takes off his pants, he's got women's underwear. Yeah. Wow. Uh, George, uh, correct me if I'm wrong. There's a Broadway show in this. I mean, I like the music myself. Yeah. You know. It writes itself. We have yeah. a one-of-a-kind performer as well. Yeah. Uh, so, Bigfoot, let me get back to this, because people are curious. Because, yeah. you know, it, it, this is excitement. You know, th these kinds of yeah, things don't happen. Yeah, these things don't happen in my life. <laughs> these kinds of things don't happen every day. Are you day. not a guy? <laughs> <laughs> you yeah. got to be a guy and uh, then be a, like, kind of go with the flow with it either I see. way. I yeah. see. Like a swing set. Yeah. So, <laughs> so Bigfoot. Then remember that swing set. Go back and more. <laughs> Bigfoot, how do you determine how much money he's going to give you? Does he decide or do you decide? We kind of... Kind to negotiate. Okay. And so through the negotiation, you decide on what? About $50, right? Yeah, okay, about $50 enough. or sometimes a little less, depending on what kind of money he got on him. All right. That was sweet of him. And, and, yeah. and what do you get for 50 Well, that's what we're getting to. Okay. So, so Bigfoot, so the guy removes his clothes, and he's in women's uh, <laughs> underpants and, and, and bra. <laughs> Does he have a bra on? Panty no, he didn't wear a bra, no. Just female clothing. Some guys are into that, right? Yeah, yeah. exactly. Right. Some guys are very weird. <laughs> Were you thrown by this when he first was in this uh, w these women's clothes? I was kind of a little shocked. I said, like, what kind of mailman is this wearing girls' pantyhose? And, and did you say to him, why are you wearing girls' pantyhose? He, he liked the feeling it, it gave him. Okay, so then you say to him, all right, what do you want? And yeah. he says, I'm dying for a finger in my asshole. Yeah. Do you go over and kiss him a little bit first? Or? No, I no. just try and go right, right for it. All right. Now, does he get on all four? He gets on his knees. On his knees? Yeah. He gets on his... Let me think about this. His, where are his hands? On the floor? Yeah. He's on his knees, so he's like in the doggy position. Yeah. And he... And I'm there fingering him like that. He's oh like boy. pushing your hand back and forth. And yeah. Him. Now, you look... And I got long fingers, it is. Are you rough with the guy's asshole? or, no, you know, or you Gentle. Gentle. All right. Yeah. You know enough well, to do that. Well, that's nice. Yeah. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. Yeah. And you say you got two fingers in there? Yeah. In his asshole? Yeah. Now, is it And duty? what is he... Is he making noise? Yeah, at times he would. He, he'd be jerking off at the same oh. time and pulling his cock at his, trying to get him to come at his. Yeah, what time, did you pull his cock at all, or did uh, he No, he off? did it himself. All right, because so that's, that's not gay, then. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> that's not gay as long no. as I weren't doing as it. As long as you're not doing it. Yeah, all right, that's good. All right. So, I'm, so, I'm, not, I'm not completely gay. It's just no, partially gay. You call what, we, what we call <laughs> sort of gay. Yeah. Right. yeah. Did he want you to touch his cock? Yeah, he did. He did. And you yeah. said, look, that's not my thing. Right. Right. You got to pay more than 50 for that. Yeah, right. right. Exactly. So you would have jerked him off if he gave you more money. Right. Right. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Smart businessman. Keep yeah. wanting more. So you said, look, I'll finger your asshole and that's that. Yeah. So as you finger your asshole, is there duty involved? Because there's got to be a little duty on there, right? Uh, he usually makes sure to take a good crap before he has me do that. Is there uh, an odor involved? Uh, there's a little odor of this. Yeah, because <laughs> it smells. There's a little duty. And yeah. he's been walking around as a mailman all day. It's, it's 
So they yeah. ask. Okay. Yeah, man. So you don't ask. walk very far. He had like special liveries. He had to stop at, at every other post office. It is wow. You and stop mail. Wow. You imagine. You know, you got paid for sex. I mean, that's every guy's fantasy. Yeah, no, no, that's exactly. You like so. You're so desirable. Did he want you? Did he mostly want you nude when you uh, put, put your finger in his ass? No, not really. Yeah, but sometimes yes, sometimes no. Yeah, right. sometimes depending on what he wanted to do. Sometimes he would get me head it is. Right. Was there ever head. any kissing? Well, no, 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 come no, on. It's no. Commend, that that would be going too far. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hold on a second. You know, Julia Roberts had that same rule. <laughs> hold on. Oh, yeah, you're right. He won't kiss his clients. Uh, uh, do me a favor, before. Hold on one second. George, can you stop touching yourself? <laughs> no. Maybe he people. needs some help to jerk off. Yeah. <laughs> George, you want a finger in your ass? <laughs> there I can you go. Now I can, you on I can probably get you a $25 prize. Two yeah. graceful fingers. Right. We'll, 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 we'll depend on your income it is. Now, after he jerks off. We'll he's got, only take 30 a cent. He's got, <laughs> he's got uh, Star Trek money. Don't, don't, don't be fooled by him. Yeah. Yeah. You, so, so, What's Star Trek money look don't like worry anyway? About it. So, uh, don't don't worry lack. about it. But hold on a second. I have to throw up. Okay. <laughs> oh, you got to throw up? All right, oh, I'm oh, back oh. now. Better get the garbage can out. Bigfoot, so, so now after the guy comes, does he want to do it? again or is he ready to get out of there he's ready to get out of there about the, uh, about when i got my fingers in his ass and he's going back and forth with when him. he jerks off does he come on the floor or yeah, he, he comes right on the floor do you make him clean up after all it's your apartment yeah, right? uh, i didn't worry about it too much it, i mean it was insulation on the floor how much more could he hurt it <laughs> so in other words, after all the bleach i put on the floor remember eight bottles on the gray rug and another eight on the red rug so in other words the uh cum is just on the floor all day it yeah just, it just stays do you ever look at it and go gee i i don't like that there's cum on my floor or, or, you know, it didn't matter to me. It was the landlord's apartment. It was only being teared down anyways. I have to think uh, they that were the, going to make a parking lot into that whole block. I'm sure the landlord celebrates every day when he rented you an apartment. <laughs> yeah, I bet you he probably had cocaine in front of him. He did. Uh, I don't know about that, but what? I'm saying, who knows? Uh, uh, but, but, <laughs> now, where are you living now? Did you get a new apartment? You yeah, somebody, I'm living in Barry. Because it, it seems to me that it would be dangerous to rent you an apartment. It seems like a big headache for a landlord. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. So how do it you says, manage? It seems to be a big headache to be involved with you, period. Yes, I'm saying. I, I almost feel bad for the landlord. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but yet you keep convincing these landlords. It's a small community you live in. Yeah. And yet you keep convincing these landlords to rent you an apartment. How do you do it? How do I do it? I get pathways of rent, rent me an apartment, and they, they talk with the landlord it is. I see. So somebody, somebody has to intervene. Right. Somebody has to intervene. Yeah. yeah. In other words, if you walked in there and said, I want to rent an apartment, they'd take you and throw you right out. Uh, yeah, probably. Right. So they send a ruse in to, uh, to, to yeah. get the, uh, negotiate with them. Right. And then, and that and person then, runs away. And that person runs away, and then you show up. <laughs> oh, those poor landlords. <laughs> I mean, look at this. Poor guy, they condemned his building. After. <laughs> well, uh, it's a fact. Fascinating life, and and you know you are the star of a new film, which is unbelievable. I can't wait to see this new movie, which is called uh, what is it called again? Uh, Bigfoot. Devil Avski. Devil Avski. What? Devil Avski. Devil. No, uh, the movie. I'll I'll get the paper out that way you can read it. Yeah, well, no, you read it. I'm not touching that piece of paper. <laughs> Why? You think it's cum stains on yeah, it? it? Could be. I don't know where. Right there. Was. All right, oh, good God, enough. Oh, I, I see. It. it says Jersey Shore Massacre. Jersey Shore Massacre. Yeah. Why you call it Devil Asky? I I don't know the proper name for it. Yeah, it's called Jersey Shore Massacre. <laughs> yeah. Film you're in. Uh, that's tonight at the AMC Theater in Lincoln Square. I guess that's going to be the premiere, is it? Yeah. Yeah, you'll be there? Yeah, I'm going to be there, yeah. Look at you. Uh, what are you going to wear? I'm going to wear what I'm wearing. <laughs> a lumberjack outfit. Yeah. You don't have a tux for the premiere? No. I, uh, all my suits got ruined. Do you, you say when you were on set, there was a bit of an on-set romance, that one of the actresses had fallen in love. Whoop, there you go. Whoop, 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 what happened? Uh, the headphones. Fall off. <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> now it's on backwards. Uh, Bigfoot. Uh, now I got it. You say what? Yeah, it's fine. When you were acting, uh, you say one of the actresses fell in love with you. Is that correct? Yeah. And what happened there? Was there an on-set romance? It was almost the romance it is. And then he you sat in my lap, he did. Yeah, and then that was the end of it. They, they never went any further. Yeah, it never went any further than that. And you can't find her? No. no. She disappeared? Yeah, she disappeared and pulled off the face of the earth. Yeah, wow. I bet. What a shock. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, Must be uh, she could see some of my horror shows. Right. If the, the police are listening, can you look for that girl? <laughs> 
want to make sure she's all right. Now, seriously though, you say you do want to find love with a woman. Yes, I uh, do. And you would you would consider online dating? I bribed E Harmony for it. They, uh, they never even sent me a apply back or nothing. <laughs> you are like Herman Munster. Oh, yes, I am. Yeah, you, you send for an application for E Harmony and they won't even talk to you. Yeah, they right. won't even send me a apply back. They right. won't. They're afraid the whole site will crash. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, that's what happened. Herman Munster tried to uh, date on. Yeah, uh, but you know what I'm saying. Uh, you would find love with a woman if you could work your computer. Right, exactly. Exactly. But, okay, you got to learn how to do it. That yeah. is good for women. Uh, Bigfoot, would you be open to dating a woman who is technically a man? Uh, no. Why no. not? Why not? Because, um... I'd rather have a woman. I like woman sex more than I do men sex. Okay, ah. fair enough. All right. Well, good for you. Uh, let me just uh, remind people that uh, the big premiere is tonight. Certainly want to get the word out for right, you. Right, exactly. A Jersey Shore Massacre tonight at the AMC Theater in Lincoln Square and exclusively on DirecTV. And Jersey Shore Massacre will be in select theaters in New York and Los Angeles this Friday and on demand starting August 26th, all starring Bigfoot. Yeah. Uh, he plays uh, Satan. Uh, the devil in this uh, movie, he uh, acts in it. Uh, hard memorizing the lines or not? Oh, it's easy. Yeah, I have I have you on set. This is you filming Jersey Shore. We listened to it earlier, but it's worth again. This is you on set actually acting. Here we go. Yeah. Camera speed. 18 Echo, take one, Margaret. How would you like to prime my sausage? A little louder. How would you like to prime my sausage? I live over there by the river. I live over there, up the river. Up the river. I live over there, up the river. I live up the river there. I do. I live right up the river. How does that go again? <laughs> like a young Marlon Brando. Yeah. yeah. He used to work that way, too. He, they would feed him the lines a lot of times. Yeah. yeah you I like had to feed me little short lines. Yeah, smart. Well, look, you've done it all now. Yeah. You've uh, been involved with the police. Yeah. You've been involved fingering a guy's asshole. Yeah. You've what, received blowjobs. You've to given blowjobs. You've received blowjobs. You've given blowjobs. And you've done it all, haven't you? Yeah, I have. All right, Robin. There's not much I'm not done. Why is the mailman done with you? Robin asked you a good yeah, question. Yeah, what happened to him? Oh, I kind of reported him in afterwards after I had to leave town. <laughs> okay. You reported him? Yeah, nice. yeah, I reported him to the post office and the lady was freaking out with this after I told him uh. what was going on. Why would you report the poor man? I mean, he... Because uh, everybody turned again. Me. Yeah, but not the postman. He was nice to you. He, he was nice to me. Everybody else, uh, I was going to have to move anyway. So it's dangerous to have sex with you and to pay you because uh, you're going to turn people in. That's not a good the business model. The reason you pay is so you don't tell. Right. Yeah, I know. Uh, that was not cool. <laughs> yeah, I, gotta, I know. I got to take umbrage with that. Yeah, I know. Yeah. You know you did wrong there. Yeah, I know I did wrong. I, I do wrong every occasionally when the people mess me over. Did the poor guy lose his job? I don't know. Yeah. I've never heard back from him. Well, I know if I paid you to finger my asshole, what I would do is I would just tell the authorities, this guy's crazy, uh, none of that happened. I yeah. pay, you know what I mean? That's what I would do. Yeah. Yeah, because I'd say, hey, he's incompetent. Yeah. Right. <laughs> uh, he should be locked up. Well, uh, George uh, is going to put on a uh, mailman panties and hat, <laughs> and he's going to reenact this scene with you when you finger his asshole. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, good for you becoming an actor. How did you prepare for the role? Did you do any, th any kind of preparation? No. Nothing. Mm. Probably remarkable. No. Remarkable. First time. Uh, no uh, I'm a natural. Yeah, yeah I guess so. Yeah. Uh, Bigfoot, congratulations on this accomplishment. It really yeah. is. Most people would, you know, die to be in a movie, and you've yeah. done it all now. And yeah. uh, will you do more movies? No, I'm willing to do more movies. Right. Yes, people will contact you. Yeah. All right, and, and and take my advice. After someone puts you in a movie, don't call their cell every ten seconds, leaving uh, messages because they'll be turned off. Yeah, I know. If I was a producer, I wouldn't hire you again because it's yeah. too much hassle. Yeah. You know what I mean? I mean, getting calls. I'm like, a go uncommon guy is you never know what I'm going to get myself mixed up with it is. well I want to thank you for coming in today I no problem do. and take my advice uh, if you are a movie producer Feel free to hire Bigfoot, but don't give him your cell. This poor gentleman. I mean, listen to That's him. a way to Oh, you need to get hold of Howard Stern show. The thing is all going to court by tomorrow at 11 o'clock in the morning at the family court. Uh, you need to get hold of the Howard Stern show. Yeah, they were trying to poison me with God. Quantipin, they were going. Real ones. I'm allergic to them. Oh, I need you to call me at Mark E. Shaw Jr. I think I have the flu.
Let me tell you, like I told Howard Stern here, the healthy people were proud of yourself. I had to be hospitalized for five days here, and this is Mark E. Shaw Jr., or Big Butt is, and I think you better call me if you care about me ever making a movie with me again. I have a bone to pick with you people, and it's urgent. I had to be hospitalized for five days. I need to talk to you as soon as possible. Bye. Now, why did you need to uh, make a call like that? You say you did the movie and you got sick from the movie? No, I don't know what happened to me. It was because of the insulation up there in Newport, it was. <laughs> and then they put you on Klonopin? Yeah, they were putting me on Klonopin, trying to poison me. I was choking on my tongue, I was. Uh, because of it. Well, let me tell you, it's complicated. And, uh, I, 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 Are you not on any medication now? I'm on medication. It, I'm just... Uh, <laughs> Oh, oh, God. oh God. sorry about that. Well, well, that's very rude. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. Come on. I can't help it. Uh, why did you just belch? Did you have a big breakfast? No, I only had a muffin. All right, well. So what was this about the medication? Oh, the Robin. medication, I, uh, I've, been, I've been taking it right along. Okay, okay. Uh, that's why he's confident. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Bigfoot, always good seeing you. I wish you luck tonight. It really is exciting that yeah. you're uh, doing that. And uh, thank you for stopping by. George, you've never met Bigfoot before. What do you think? Pretty, it's pretty my first time. Yeah, pretty wild, huh? Uh, he is, is absolutely George engaging. Is? What is that? Is George, George new? George is, well, no, George is the announcer occasionally on the show. He's just oh. never been here when you've been <laughs> He's an, actor. Oh. He's an actor like you. Oh, There's right. only one you, Big Maybe Bigfoot. Maybe someone will rub off on me, me, me onto you. Yeah. <laughs> George, anyway, you were saying, what do you think of this guy, huh? Well, he's very engaging. He's uh, very unique. There's only one Bigfoot, that's for sure. Right. Yeah. Well, there you go. That's that's a compliment from a famous actor. Yeah, that's good. All right. Well, uh, isn't that great? A couple of people want to ask questions real quick. Go ahead, Steve. Hey now, Howard. Oh my God, I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> hey, can you ask Bigfoot if he wash his hands after fingering the mailman? Yeah, do you bother washing your hands? Yes, I do. You yes. Did, yeah. Do you get shit on your underneath your fingers? Sometimes, sometimes, yes. You do. Oh. Wow. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's why you need to wash your hands afterwards. It is never no one else I'm gonna be touching. Because your finger stinks, right? Yeah. Do you ever take your finger and smell it afterwards? No. No. I no. Would, I would. Uh, Especially uh, you're fingering on somebody else's asshole. I mean, you never know what's on there. It is E. coli, right? Yeah. Man. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, thank you for that question, Steve. <laughs> right, I'm going to go good. throw up. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Oh, well, you and you wonder why there. Howard's afraid to shake hands. Yeah. <laughs> oh, please. Uh, let's go to... Maybe you want to put the terror gloves on. All right. You know what? I was going to go to more phone calls, but I think I'm exhausted. Hi. All right. Uh, oh, yes. Uh, all right. Uh, listen, Bigfoot, thank you. Yeah, no problem. Yeah. Hey, do you stop scabies? No. Got rid of them? Yeah, got rid of those. Isn't that nice? George, Don't that need nice? those kind of diseases. No, sir. Mm. All right. Okay. Well, anyway, thank you, Bigfoot. We love you. You know that. And good yeah. luck. And don't forget the movie, Jersey Shore Massacre. Right. right. Big premiere tonight at the AMC Theater in Lincoln Square. And exclusively Bigfoot will be there? Yeah, yeah Bigfoot I'll will be, be there. there. Will you sign autographs? Yeah, I'll sign autographs. And I got a few pictures of myself. Isn't that nice? And Jersey Shore Massacre will be in select theaters in New York and Los Angeles this Friday and on demand starting August 26th. Do you ever pinch yourself with, with this, all this good stuff happening? Do you ever pinch yourself? <laughs> nah. Yeah. <laughs> will you finger anyone tonight at the premiere? I don't think I will, no. For 50 bucks you would. 50 bucks? I'm willing to do anything. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe even rob a bank. Oh, forget right, it. Calm down. You're going to end up getting uh, killed. All right. Oh, especially here in New York. Right. They might shoot me like they did that uh, brown guy that they yeah, did. That's right. That's right. You got to be careful. I've got an iron skull anyway. The bolt probably bounce off anyway. Have you ever well, been shot? Well, let's not test that there. <laughs> Have you ever been shot? I've been shot by a taser for a twice. Yeah? How long did it take you to come down? Do you just fall right to your knees? No. Is? No? I pulled the tasers right out. I got a new prick. It is now that I pull them right out of my stomach. Wow. All right. All right. Yeah, I could talk to you all day, but you, you understand. You've, you've taken up an hour. Yeah. All right. Bigfoot, thank you. Has yeah, no problem. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, it flew by, didn't it, Robin? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, Robin, thank God you lived, because you never would have heard this. I, I can't believe what I heard today. Imagine yeah. had you died. From, I would have missed this whole thing. You would have thing. missed it. Yeah. You, you know what? Somewhere you would have been like, oh, my God, I, I, I thank God I, I'm, I like I'm not there. I like your new look, Robin. Thank you. Yeah, yeah she's gorgeous uh, with her yeah. new look. She always has a new look. She's always uh, busy. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Robin, uh, you've been... Uh, I'm a fashion icon. Would you fuck yeah. Robin? Oh, stop it. In a, in I've done colored girls before. No. Yeah. Right. I've done a girl named Jenny with colored. Nice. <laughs> the one Robin? the girls 
as I brought down here the one other time. Robin, play your cards right. You'll be at a premiere tonight. <laughs> yeah. right. Thank Maybe you very much. Go on a hot date. Yeah. Right. I'll, I'll take you for a Pepsi. You, you, take out. you have no money. She'd have to take you for a Pepsi. Yeah. Yeah. That's the oh, sample. I made five bucks last night. Just sitting there on a park bench. Right. Really? Somebody know. gave you five bucks? Yeah. They're, they're sitting there minding my own business. You just hand me five bucks. Well, you look like a guy who's looking for five bucks. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Bigfoot. And we'll be back right after these <laughs> words. Yeah, Bigfoot. Hola, baby. ¿Cómo estás? You what? Hi, baby. How are you? Who the hell is this? I am Luba Fuentes. Let me turn my TV down. I can barely hear you. Okay. Oh, oh. What the fuck is this, you know? Do what? Do you have a big penis? Peanut? I love peanuts. No, I don't have no peanuts. Peanuts is my favorite. Huh? What? Huh? You like big boobs? Yeah, I like big boobs. You have a big penis? Yeah, I got a big penis. Wow. Well, you like big penises? Woo! I love cats. You like the head? Yeah, you want I show you? Show me what? You want to show me your pussy? Yes. That's nice of you. I love pussy. You do? You don't even know what it look like. I love peanuts. Oh, you like big cock? You have a big penis? Yeah, nine and a half inches. Woo! I love cock. Good what? Oh, I have so many orgasms. Somebody in the bathroom? Yes. Oh, you gonna go to the bathroom, you do? Yes. Oh. Oh, this guy is dirty. Yeah, you want me to come and take a shit on you? Yes. Yeah. You like being shit on? Yes. I love anal. You like anal? Well, yeah, I'll fuck your ass, I will. <laughs> well, you want me to take my cock off, uh, out and jack off? Yes. Yeah, you want me to jack off? Yes. Yeah. Oh. Uh, yeah. Uh, I'm going to fuck you like a wild animal with this. Oh. Uh, I'll fuck uh, you in the ass. I'll fuck you in the pussy. Uh, yeah, I'll lick your vagina. Mm. You like being licked? Yes. You want to lick your cunt? Ooh. I even lick your asshole, I will. Oh, God. Uh, you finger in your pussy? Mm. Thinking about me? Yes. You in your middle finger? Yes. Yeah. Oh, buddy. Yeah, I came all over my hand. Oh, okay, baby. Yeah, I gotta clean up with this. Okay. All right, bye. Gracias, baby. Uh, let's go to Jeff the Drunk. Hello, Howard. Hi, Jeff. What can we do for you? I just wanted to tell you that Bigfoot was awesome. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, Bigfoot did a good job today. I was going to say, I thought that was his best appearance ever. Yes, he really was. He is consistently good. Uh, Jeff the Drunk, by the way, was at America's Got Talent last week. Are yes, you, he was. Am I going to see you there again today? No, not this time around. Not this time around. Yeah, you don't get Jeff that often, Howard. Yeah. And, by the way... Robin was there when you fell. When Heidi fell. Oh, I was? That yep. was that day? Yep. You were not there, Robin. Right. She was there. She was? <laughs> I wonder who showers more, Bigfoot or Jeff? Who I would have to imagine Jeff. You think Jeff does? Yeah, because Bigfoot oftentimes doesn't even have a home. Right. You shower every day, Jeff? I do. I, I find that shocking. Like, if I was living in a trailer and I'm Jeff and everything, I, like, I wouldn't shower every day. I'm, I'm not seeing anybody. It was anybody. the trailer that would slow you down? Well, I mean, I'm not leaving. I'm not seeing anybody. Why would I shower? I want to be clean. Yeah, well. See? Jeff Jeff cares. All right, Robin. An animal. You ready? Yeah. You got to fuck. I'm saying, oh, like, dear. either <laughs> you got to fuck one of these two guys. You ready? Give it to me. Bigfoot or Jeff the Drunk? You got to fuck one. Why do I have to? Because, oh. well, you, do I really need to go into the backstory? <laughs> the extinction of the planet, the whole thing. Everything is at stake. You have to fuck one of them. 
<laughs> You're forced to. All right. Does the planet really need to survive? <laughs> Honestly, that's no. a good question. But all right, you decide that it's worthwhile. You got to fuck one. Jeff, Jeff the drunk or Bigfoot? Bigfoot, right. Mm. I think you're going <laughs> to <laughs> The rest of the planet is going to be half you and half one of them. And by the way, you can bathe Bigfoot first. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> this is the Howard Stern Show. <laughs> it's got to be insulting that she's even taking it. <laughs> thinking. <laughs> Jeff looked very clean the last time I saw him. Oh, come on. Remember his ass? <laughs> That's right. right. Oh, stop. Well, the other guy's got had scabies. He's had scabies, and he had a thing on his butt or his, his back. back. Yeah. And he puts his fingers in the mailman. Yeah, he did wash his hands. <laughs> <laughs> well, who are you going to go with? I guess I got to go with Jeff. Really? Wow. Yeah. See, I would think Bigfoot. Why? Because he has a nine and a half inch. Yeah. Oh, really? But Jeff probably can't even get it up, so I won't have to do that much. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. All right, let's say Jeff can get him. <laughs> okay, I can get him. You know what's great about this? I actually tricked Robin. The world is not facing extinction. <laughs> All right, Jeff, thank you. The joke's on you, Robin. Right. That's uh, Jeff the Drunk. Everyone loves oh, Jeff the goodness. Drunk.